Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. An Indiana transportation official says a short-term deal to keep the Hoosier State passenger train line running is still possible before funding runs out this week. It's too early to say where state money would come from to help pay for the agreement and how long any deal would last. When asked if the line will shut down if a deal is not reached by October 16th, an Amtrak spokesperson said, quote, that's probably not untrue. And about 50 people rallied outside Representative Todd Young's office Monday to protest the congressman's stance on the Affordable Care Act and end the government shutdown. WTIU's Ali Suffren has more. The protesters say they want Representative Todd Young to get back to work. The government shutdown is in its 14th day and Bloomington resident Mark Gove says Young's stance on the Affordable Care Act is part of the problem. Gove says he regrets voting for Young because he can't afford state programs like HIP or Medicaid that Indiana legislators chose not to reform. The two plans that I could have had that were based on the state, which are the ones that I could afford, I can't afford. Now, Rep Young might say, oh, see, if, you know, the Affordable Care Act's not working and not looking at the fact that, you know, our governors didn't deal with the programs, didn't fix the programs that they were given the option and money to do three years ago and opted out of. Last week, Young participated in a Capitol Hill press conference conducted by No Labels, a bipartisan group that believes both parties can collaborate in Congress. For WTIU News, I'm Ali Suffren. In a statement, a spokesman for Todd Young says Young has consistently called on all involved in Washington to stop playing the blame game and start working towards solutions. And here's a look at the weather. Tonight will be partly cloudy, 51 degrees as the low. Tomorrow, a 60 percent chance of thunderstorms. And here's a look at the five-day forecast. For more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org.